Tasker now allows you to run actions remotely on other devices. Check it out. First, let me start by showing how normal actions work, just running as usual. I have this simple task here that uses the get location action and then opens the URL that I get from the location. So it opens on Google Maps with my own location. It looks like this. So it's a simple task and it opens your location on Google Maps. But now if I go to show pixel location and by doing a simple change, which is going to do get location action and setting remote device, which is a new option to pixel six pro for example, and if I run it, and this other device here is the Pixel 6 Pro, if I run it, you can see that on the Pixel 6, the location marker uh, briefly comes on at the top there, and then I get the location back. And this is the Pixel 6 location. So what happened here is this get location action actually ran on the Pixel 6 and not locally. So every single one of these variables came from the Pixel 6 and not from this own device. And likewise, I could use this to show my own location on the Pixel 6. So in this case, the get location doesn't ro run on a remote device, it runs on this device, but then the browse URL action runs on the remote device on the Pixel 6 Pro. Additionally, I even added another one that runs on the 7 Pro, which is this other device here. So if I run this, this will run locally, but then this will run remotely on the other devices. I get the location and then use this and then use this. As you could see, the locations open di directly on the other devices because this browse URL action ran on those devices. Now, this is totally transparent to you, as you may have noticed. Let's go back to the show pixel location. You don't even see a difference in the task. You only know that this runs remotely and it works with permissions as well. For example, uh, I meant it works with errors as well. So if you, for example, disable the location permission on the pixel six here, and now if you run this action, you can see that there's no permission to access the location. If you allow it and then run the action, it gets back the location successfully. So this is again, totally transparent. It, it, it's just like running a local action, but the action actually runs on another device. Now at the moment, I only have a couple of a uh, few actions using this remote this new remote uh, device field and another one is I really wanted to add this one because it offers ultimate flexibility is the command action a command is something that triggers the command event as you can see on here on the pixel 6 and by using the say command that I just set up here on the pixel 6 I have a profile that reacts to that command and then says some text out loud. So if I run this command, it'll run this profile over here on the Pixel 6 and then run this action, which is just a say action. So if I run this. Hello from your other phone. It triggers the command and then runs the task. As you can see, I have another uh, event there, another profile with an event there with the command open app. And it, I can trigger it with this command here, open app, app, and then the name of the app. So for example, if I run this with clock, it opens the clock app. If I run this, for example, with the With the calculator command, it opens a calculator. So using the simple command or using this simple action called command, 
you can trigger anything you want on the remote device. And so this is one of the first actions to support this because of its flexibility. In the future, I intend to add more remote device options to more actions. But at the moment, I have these few simple ones just to get it started and to see if nothing breaks. If, if nothing breaks, then I can add more and more and more actions, more and more, uh, I can add the remote device option to more and more actions. For example, I could add it to the perform task action and that would allow you to perform any task on a remote device and get back its results. So you could run a task remotely, get back a return variable, and then do whatever you want with the result on this on the local device. So this is the new run actions remotely feature in Tasker, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.